On an April evening in 2019, the universe paid a visit to Costa Rica. A brilliant fireball streaked across the night sky, a fragment of the early solar system hurtling towards Earth after billions of years in deep space. Moments later, pieces of that cosmic traveler landed in and around the town of Aguazarcas, resulting in a very unique meteorite. Now, this wasn't just any space rock. This was a CM2 carbonaceous chondrite. Its rarity is part of what makes it special, but it's what's inside of that stone that really matters. You see, the Aguazarcas meteorite is rich in organic compounds, the complex carbon-based molecules that are essential to life as we know it. We're talking about amino acids, the fundamental building blocks of proteins, nucleobases like those found in DNA, and even hydrocarbons, molecules that suggest the chemistry of life might not just be confined to Earth. These compounds didn't form here. They were forged elsewhere, perhaps on the surface of a primitive asteroid altered over eons by water and time. The piece I'm showing you here is only two grams. Most of the specimens recovered from the fall are small and were found quickly, and that timing really mattered because meteorites of this type are delicate. Within a couple days, rain began to fall in Costa Rica, and many stones simply dissolved, lost forever to the elements of Earth. That's why we don't have as many carbonaceous chondrite recoveries. They weather away very quickly. My stone has a deep black fusion crust that shows the result of atmospheric entry at thousands of degrees. There is also a rollover lip, which is a curved edge formed by molten material pushed back as it plummeted through the air, giving it its oriented shape. Few Aguas Zarcus meteorite fragments survived, but they are intensely studied and protected. And as we study, consider, and we wonder what else might be out there.